All right, then you need to understand what it is that you're covering. Yeah, it's me. Get me Matt. Okay, come on in, Maggie. Let's go, um, guys. I'm sorry, guys. It's not the crew, okay? Come on through. It's just not the crew. It's me. Uh, we're going to give uh, Maggie Chin the tour. <laughs> at the northwestern rim of the giant caldera. It's where the ground fell over a thousand feet after the last super eruption. So we're in the volcano. Sure are. And I thought we'd take a little drive to the other side. So what can you see? Yellowstone Lake. Okay. Now look out across the lake to that range of mountains on the far side. The Absorcus. That's right. How far would you say those mountains are from here? How far? Uh, Ten miles? Uh, roughly fifteen. Now those mountains are where you'll find the eastern edge of the giant caldera. The western edge is about another fifteen miles behind us. North to south, it's even further. It's over 50 miles. So that's about 45 minutes of driving, and we're still only in the center of the volcano crater. What's your point, Matt? My point is, if this thing erupts, you'll die. If you think you're going to win some award or get promoted because you knew about this first, you won't. There won't be anyone around to give you your pat on the back. Ma'am. You need to get some perspective. To a geologist like me, there is only one surefire sign of an impending eruption, and that's harmonic tremor. That's a seismographic reading which indicates that magma is on the move. Even then, though, even when you see one of those, you can't tell how big an eruption you're looking at. But you know that it's coming. Well, on the 26th of June, for the first time, we saw just that. We saw harmonic tremor. And where is it? Norris. Rick, you want to suggest a change of alert? Yeah, you know, another red, that's it's going to create more panic. This is as shoot as we get. I know. This, this is eminent. Man. I know. You want me to plug the data into Virgil? And find uh, out hang what? on, hang on. No, really, please, and find out please. what? Uh, let, let's do that and just see if it can... Jesus Christ! Look, we, there's going to be an eruption, okay? We know that. I don't need you to tell me what harmonic tremor means. So now you, you, you need you need advice and upgrade to the alert status Look. and you need to let people know. Okay, so I, I, if I upgrade to a red, everyone's going to think that we've got a super eruption on our hands. I am not going to be held responsible for some kind of mass panic. But wait a minute, it is our responsibility. Sure. It's, no, shut up, Dave. It's our job, it's our duty to let people know, to tell them what we know, so get your ass off the fence. Well, and, and you tell me what going on TV and telling Joe Sixpack that the end of the world is nigh, you tell me how that's going to help this situation. What do you think our purpose is here? Okay, listen, I, I will brief them up and I will brief the state, but just before they evacuate the whole of America, they're going to want to know how big the thing's going to be. Well, at least the ship's got a bloody captain there.
is going on? What oh, do you come mean? Come on. Well, no mention of it for weeks, and all of a sudden we're going to England. It's not like that. I'm not supposed to be suspicious. Look, you, you said that you wanted to go and see your mom, oh, Jesus, right? Jesus, Rick, just be honest with me. I'm being honest Are with you? you. Yes. This is going to be a big eruption. You've got to come with us. Look, it's going to be exactly what I what I said that it's going to be. You know, this little girl may never meet her father because of the decision you're making right now. Come on, we, we all believe that this is going to be a moderate eruption. And yeah, things are going to go, well, you know, a little crazy in this country for, for a while. Because everyone's nervous right now. God, that's why I, I'd just be happier if you both were, were in London. When, when all that's going on. And then when things calm down, and then I'll, I'll come and I'll, I'll see you. Can I go on the plane now? Yes, you're going to go on the plane now. You take care of your mom, okay? Okay. You call me when you get there. I will. Be good on the you. plane. See ya. you to our San Francisco FEMA office and I want you to talk to Lisa Cochran. She'll be the one to uh, direct any activity at that point. Okay. Uh, uh, one moment. Bring the center screen volume up. A leaked email seen by KZVZ confirms that the U.S. Geological Survey expects an eruption anytime soon, possibly within hours and possibly with devastating consequences for America and the world. Oh, God. I'm Maggie Chin with KZBZ News, reporting to you live from Yellowstone National Park. A radius of 100 miles around the park is being evacuated amid scenes of chaos and confusion. Highway 20, the main route linking West Yellowstone to Idaho Falls, is at a complete standstill. Meanwhile, towns and cities hundreds of miles from Yellowstone are under siege as panic buyers stock up on provisions like canned foods and water. Many stores have been forced to close early, prompting fears that violence will soon erupt. We have to shoot him, we will. We'll defend our property and our life. We do realize it's the worst possible way to come out, guaranteed to maximize panic. The story's been picked up by all major networks, not just in this country. All I know, Wendy, is it didn't come from my end. Nor from Governor Marshall's office, nor from anyone here in Washington. Still, we have to deal with it. Sir, this is Rick Lieberman. Hey. Rick, Joe Foster, Secretary for you? Homeland Security. Michael, you know, of course. Hey. Governor Marshall should be joining us at any moment. I expect to see you here. Hello, everybody. Really? Glad you could join us. Half my state's about to be vaporized. I thought I should attend. Yeah, Rick, please have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. This leak hasn't just caused chaos here, but around the world. Well, it certainly didn't come from USGS. Nor FEMA. Yeah, all right, people. The buck is well passed. Wherever it came from, the media have got hold of it, and now we have got to address it. So, Rick. What I'm going to ask you is very simple. I need you to make a statement ruling out the possibility of a super eruption. Well, ruling it out. Nothing bigger than Mount St. Helens. People would accept that, and it's what the evidence suggests. I, well, I can't. I beg your pardon? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't say that. Why the hell not? Because our computer model now suggests that even a small eruption could destabilize the magma chamber and trigger a super eruption. Rick, I understand that, but you're talking remote possibility. No, I'm, I'm talking about... What I am talking about are hard facts. Fact one, there are food riots. People are fighting each other to leave the country. Fact two, the dollar is on its knees. Wall Street has crashed. 